Okay. Hi guys. Welcome to part two of the November vlog. I am all spruced up because I'm heading out. I'm heading out to two events tonight. I'm going to Ray's makeup launch. She did a collaboration with BH Cosmetics. And then after, going to the Too Faced event. So yeah, got a, a full night ahead. I'm gonna give Chippo her little bully stick and then I'm on my way. Here is Ray's palette. It's actually the exact same color as my robe. Wow, I really coordinated well with this, jeez. Dang, this looks delicious. I am like halfway being ready, but I just made some lunch. This is tak pokum tang. It's one of my favorite Korean dishes. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to dig in. Also, I forgot to mention that Ben is out of town for a total of 10 days. He is in England. He hasn't visited in two years. And so it's been just like really amazing and surreal for him to be back. Um, but yeah, that means that I have the house to myself. I'm a home alone. Yeah, I haven't been home alone in this long and part of me feels good because it just really like tests my independence and it makes it also makes me realize like how much Ben actually does for me like for example cooking he pretty much takes care of all of that and then filming and so yeah it's like been uh, like a good transition because it makes me appreciate all the things that Ben does um, and yeah I really do miss him but it's like good to get some time away from each other when you are in like such a long relationship sometimes like Distance makes the heart go fonder. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'm freaking starving. Oh my god. I like decided to throw in some broccoli just so I feel better. Mm. I don't know. It's like Willy Wonka. Dinner for four for two with Ami. Oh my god. Oh, this feels so nice. Isn't that right, Chippo? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it feels so rewarding to just lay down and do nothing. But yeah, I just got back home. Uh, today, we went to the Happy Place exhibition, as you saw in the previous clips. It was really cool, a really fun, bright, positive installation. It is temporary though, it ends on January 7th, so if you happen to be in the Arts District and you have tickets, I definitely recommend you go. So right now, I just got back from dinner with Ami. It was so amazing getting to meet up with her. Uh, we have been trying to like have dinner for the longest time, but with both our crazy schedules, it's been like a mission to plan but the stars aligned and we met and it was so awesome we like talked for a good three hours in that restaurant even though Ben's not here I still am just sleeping on my side of the bed because it feels weird being in the middle Chip was taking his spot before I go to bed, I think I'm gonna read a couple chapters of The War of Art. My brother gave this to me for my birthday present, or it's one of, it was one of his birthday presents to me, and I'm excited to continue with it. Definitely going in my faves. Hello, happy Saturday. I'm shooting with Jamie and Kaylee. Can you Hi. see them? Hi. Hi. There you are, and then he. Is our lovely photographer. Hey. Hello. And then here's Janice helping Hi. out. But yeah, we are at our second location. Check it out. I know it looks very decrepit, but trust me, we're gonna make it look very chic. We are at our third location. Keith has found this really cool tangerine wall. And I'm wearing my little country bumpkin outfit. Happy 
anniversary. Thank you. Here we are at Daebokjong. About to have some. I don't even know what this is called. Huh? 이거 이름이 가 뭐지? 이거? 어. 낙지. 낙지? 낙지 철판. Celebrating my parents' anniversary. Hi. Welcome to our trunk. Hi. This is Vincent. Katie. Hi, I'm Vincent. Hello. You guys have seen them in my vlogs before. Yeah. But basically, we're doing a little shoot today. Shooting Eggy and then Katie has put her little flare in yeah. with her wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, it's been awesome. But yeah, we're on our third look now. We're all hunched over. We're like, I'm and, wearing Eggy too. I know. Yeah. We're in season one. I love it. Hey guys, today has been a very full one. I didn't get to vlog too much, but uh, in the morning, Amy came over and we filmed the AM with Amy. By the time you're watching this, maybe it's already out, but we basically talked about negative emotions and how we deal with them. I felt really good to talk about a subject that I don't really talk about on my channel. I'm practicing being more vulnerable on my YouTube channel, and I think it's it's just hard because I don't want to come off like I'm just one dimensional and I'm, and I'm happy all the time. Like obviously I only like to vlog when I'm happy because I'm feeling good and I want to share and I don't know. I, so it was good for, for us to talk about uh, negative emotions that we deal with. And for me, it was mostly about stress, uh, anger, and jealousy. Jealousy is something that I don't really feel anymore, which is something that I really proud of because growing up I was just so envious of everybody whether it was their style or their body or whether they were funny or smart it was a lot so I feel happy that I was able to conquer that negative emotion uh, but the two that I wrestle with are uh, stress and anger and I mean anger doesn't happen all the time but when it happens it ain't pretty. After that, uh, Amy helped me shoot so many things. I had a lot of uh, campaign photos due today, so uh, it was good to get that done. Then I did some errands. And then the last clip you saw was me doing a podcast. So I did a podcast called Perfectly Imperfect with Christine and Regina, and it was also something very cathartic for me. And it's basically as a subject about like connecting the dots, how we were able to get to where we are today. And I didn't expect to get so emotional, but you know, like that's another thing I want to share. I'm a very emotional person. Like any like emotion that I'm feeling, it's just raw, and I can't control it. I feel like I've always struggled with with like like hiding my emotions. Maybe it's a good thing because what you see is what you get. I can't fake anything and sometimes I wish I could fake it when I am like about to get really emotional. Like I had um, a really difficult call earlier and I started crying on the phone and I was like, Jesus, like get it together. Um, <clears throat> and then on the podcast I was crying. I, I think I'm just going through like a growing pain phase. I am juggling a lot. Whenever I feel stressed or anxious about work, there's a part of my brain that's telling me like, no, like stop feeling this way. You should be grateful and you should be happy that you even have this set of problems. And I think that's what I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to deal with right now because I am so grateful for my life. Even though like I quote unquote have it all, it, it, emotions are, are are always gonna come. Like it's it's like the weather. Like some days it's cloudy, some days the sun's out, some days it's a little foggy. Like it, and you can't control it. But you just have to roll with the punches. For that podcast, I think I got emotional because I was just really connecting the dots. And every dot that I made, it all kind of stemmed from like where I like what my childhood was like. I don't know. I think growing up. I've always had like really low self-esteem. It's crazy like how much I still carry that today. I'm realizing like I really can't control what you think of me. Like all I can do is find inner peace with myself and that's what this year has been for me. It's I'm trying to figure out like the core of like who I am and like just being happy with myself. Like I am confident in certain things, but there is still so much growth to, to happen. Talking about my insecurities and being more vulnerable is something that's really good for me. And so, yeah, I think by the time you watch this, that podcast might be out. It is a long one, I must say. So stay tuned. It feels really good uh, being home alone, actually. It's reminding me 
of like how I used to feel in Oakland when I had my own space and like everything I left it is the way I left it, you know? And I can't blame anyone if things are dirty because it's my mess. I freaking miss Ben, but it's also been really nice to have my own space. It's like the first time I've been alone in two years. It feels refreshing, but I think by the time he comes back, I'll definitely be ready for him too. Uh, but this has been some good time to reflect on myself. Thank you. We're gonna be in it, even though we're so we're so dark. We did it. We did it. We're so sweaty. Our first time, like actually hanging out. We're just, like, I know. Right? Next to each other, of course. That's oh, yeah. the best way, right? It really is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm going this Morning. Good morning, happy Thanksgiving. I just made myself a delicious green tea matcha iced drink. I'm not sure if you're supposed to have it iced, but I don't care. It is hot and I love iced drinks and I think it tastes delicious. Anyway, since it is Thanksgiving, I thought that I would tell you guys some things that I'm grateful for. So the first thing that I'm grateful for is definitely my health. I would say that my body is in fine condition. I can exercise, I can dance, I can eat pretty much whatever I want. When I hear my friends who have like health issues, whether it is like tonsillitis or arthritis or just any sort of chronic pain, it makes me really feel for them and I it makes me like check myself and to never take my health for granted. The second thing I'm thankful for is my family. I love that we are finally at a place where we can all just be so open with each other. Even though there is a language barrier, we're still able to communicate. That's what I want to express to you guys because some of you guys are like, well, if there's a language barrier, like how do you guys talk? I mix in Korean with English and so they understand more English words but they can't speak it. Just like I can understand more Korean than I can speak it. I am also so thankful for the relationship I have with Ben. Uh, before I met Ben, I didn't really think that marriage was for me, honestly. It's kind of weird, but I really thought that love was just kind of about like settling because no one could be per perfect. And I have never, I've always been a realist and, and never a romantic. And so I thought like maybe, I don't know, like like when I was when I was younger, I was like, maybe I'll marry if I want to uh, eventually reproduce or something and I would settle for the best companion. Ben just completely changed my mind about that. It's weird, whenever I get those comments being like, wow, like Ben's so lucky, I'm like, no, I am the lucky one. And lastly, I am so grateful for you guys. I couldn't have asked for a more loving, dedicated, supportive group of people to watch my videos. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, you guys have helped with my self-esteem so much. And sometimes when I don't even believe in myself, I look at your guys' comments and it truly, truly does like heal me and I want to thank you guys so so much for that and I'm so grateful lastly I am very grateful for my chippo all right I am at my old childhood room got James playing Zelda Hi. and I also went to the gas station to get some chips we got Chester's fries they're a constant favorite these munchies flaming hot Snyder's as per James request and Pachitos oven baked. These are slightly healthy, so I thought that I would get them. But yeah, here's my old childhood room. There's so much stuff in here. Yeah, it's like all my old stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and all my old paintings. Just eat it. Just eat it. Mmm, it's good. I made it. Yeah, I've made some weird, or not, I mean delicious avocado puree. <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah, and here is my plate for Thanksgiving. <laughs> There's no turkey or the traditional Thanksgiving food. We have a nice Korean style Thanksgiving every year. Mm. <laughs> Thirty-five. Thirty-five. No. Forty-five. Forty-five. All right. What could it possibly be? Size small. <laughs> Does it mean small? Oh. 
Will you be my bridesmaid? Oh yeah! <laughs> hey, I, you, can you be my bridesmaid too? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> they their heads. I can't see their face. What's up, guys? I am on my way back from the airport. I just got qualified for global entry. Woo! Uh, if you don't know what Global Entry is, it's something that you can apply for um, and then you don't have to wait in any lines, you have uh, TSA pre-check-in and then when you come back from like a foreign country, uh, you don't have to wait in customs in America. So I am stoked about that. As long as you have a clean record, uh, you're pretty much good. But yeah, yesterday's Thanksgiving was so much fun. It was awesome just getting to hang with the family. I ate so much food. And I brought back leftovers too, so I had that for breakfast and lunch. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now and just continue to edit. He's back! Oh, Yay! I miss my girls! Do you like <coughs> Do you like Chippo's new haircut? It looks cuter than I thought. It looks cuter than it usually does. Yeah, huh? She's a little bit like a rat, aren't you? Because her face is cute, though. Her face is cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Ben brought back so much. Holy cow! Wow, okay, first we have some chocolates. This is my dream. We've got Monster Munch, Flotsets. Ah! Chocolate oh. Digestives. Oh my god, they're just so big. <laughs> I got some things for the guys as well. What are these? Like English chocolates, you know. What's this? Jammy dodges. Jammy dodges. I'm not sure if you ever had them. I've never had them. Bloody oh. lovely. Oh my god, some yes! Some yes! Some oh my god. Oh, one of the, oh, I noticed there's a Watsit hanging out free, some chocky as well. There's a Watsit going loose, so obviously one of the Watsits popped. Popped? They've popped. Oh. Guess we've got to eat them then. So these are basically like, um, like smaller Cheeto puffs, but they have like a lovely fluffy texture. They're delicious. Very mm. similar. Mm. The final one. Oh my goodness! I wonder what it could be. What could it be? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> ah! Will you be my bridesmaid? I do. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at Steph's place. We hey just yo. finished filming a sippin' sista. I still have some of the first one. Oh, really? Okay, bring it over. Bring it over. Oh my gosh! This one was the crowd favorite, though. It, it's beautiful too. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I know. Cheers again. Cheers. Mmm. It's good. It's good cold too. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just apple cider. It was hot apple cider mm -hmm. and whiskey. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that combo. No. no. Apples and whiskey, come on. When you used to make us hot toddies, it was just whiskey and black tea and honey. It was raspberry tea, which is random, but that's all I had at the time. Uh -huh. Bullet bourbon and agave. A little bit of agave, and then I had kumquats. Remember, and I muddled kumquats at the bottom? What? That was in San Francisco. I made that in for your, you in one your time. apartment? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was really good. I love Cum Quest because the insides are like super sour, but then the skin is really sweet. And uh, yeah, we filmed a sip and sista. We made three holiday cocktails featuring apples. So yeah. by the time you watch this, it'll already be out. So hit the cards to check it out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it is. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Hello, happy Tuesday. I am at Oh my God. <laughs> Hi guys. We're filming our collab video today. I just got some nice slippers. She is styling me in her closet today. I'm so excited. We've got a little setup over here. Enabled it. But yeah, let's get started. Whoa! Yes! Whoa! It looks amazing! Actually, I think it's like a... Okay, so this is the... Sponge cake, right? No, that's no? the butter cake. This that's is the butter cake. cake. Okay. The vanilla bean cake with vanilla bean buttercream. Okay. Very excited about ready? this. Yeah. One. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Energy. 
shooting Eggy drop number three, the holiday collection. I've got my glam squad here. We've got the lovely Mitchell. What's up? Hello. And then David, of course. What up? So We're united. So excited. Super excited. And lastly, oh, here you hi. Is. Yay! a wrap on this November vlog. I am obviously in a different place because I am currently in New Orleans right now. I'm just gonna sign off here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.